Hey everyone, this is Lisa, Ryan and Sandy from Cargill and Rosetown. We hope that your harvest is going well and that everyone is staying safe and alert. Um, we want to talk to everybody about some new strategies to improve returns on wheat and canola. So Sandy, what are farmers asking you right now about grain marketing? So um, I guess the biggest thing is that when the harvest has started, some producers are already concerned about space, but looking for pricing options on wheat or canola. Um, canola futures are trading not too bad right now. We have a couple specials at the crush plant if you're going to be getting it off early. Um, but wheat, um, not so much. The futures are, are pretty low. The foreign exchange is definitely wreaking havoc with your net price. So with Cargill, we offer some pro pricing contracts. We have a whole family of them. And the one that's most popular to use this time of year is called the Harvest Pro. So. Um, and this year is a perfect scenario for, for using that contract. So the benefits to you are the ability to deliver at harvest, September, October, November, December. You receive an advance payment upon delivery of 300 bucks for canola or $130 for wheat. Um, this contract allows you to stay in the market. What we do is create a basis contract for your delivery period that you choose. Then we roll it to the July futures. Your basis will be adjusted by the spread in the futures. These tons are then handed over to our pro-pricing merchants and they look for opportunities in the markets to try to capture a better price at the end of the pricing period. Pricing period for both canola and wheat run from November 11th to June 17th. The cost to participate in this contract is $6 a ton, which hopefully is easily captured. You will receive a weekly pro pricing update with market intel and merchant bias, and then you are able to price out only on Wednesdays, but any time throughout the pricing period. Um, so just a quick review on the pro pricing again. So you get harvest movement, um, harvest pro contracts coming into Rosetown are a priority. Uh, you receive an advance payment, you're able to stay in the market, and you receive the market updates. So for producers that signed up on pro pricing last year, so that would be a contract that um, is for the crop they put in this year, they would have signed up for it last fall, they are going to be getting $6.50 to $7 net return for the wheat that they'll be delivering in October. So um, it depended on when they did their basis, but pretty awesome return. These contracts work if the market is doing what it normally does. So anyways, if you're interested in something like that, give your grain rep a shout and ask any questions that you have. Thanks, guys. That sounds good, Sandy. Um, and for sure, call your grain rep to get more details or even just to hear that again. Um, something that's on top of farmer's mind for myself, I'm getting lots of questions about Amidas. So this is um, a fairly new product that guys have been using. And I know that there's definitely some fall spreading that happens just because of equipment situations. You're not able to get all your fertilizer down and fertilizer has been going up for sure. So I think that fall purchasing will be something that's definitely on top of mind for farmers. So Ryan, what can you tell us about Amidas? Uh, yeah, so Amidas is a, a product that's now available through Cargill. Um, and uh, yeah, fertilizer prices are, are moving up and, and this is a, a great way to kind of tie in the two if you can get some cash flow now to, to pay for some fertilizer and get it locked in while prices are still uh, cheaper than what they are in the spring. Uh, Amidas is a, a great new product. It's 40005. Uh, so you have nitrogen and sulfur all together in one prill. And what that's going to do, it's going to give you better nitrogen use efficiency. Um, so nitrogen needs sulfur with it. And uh, we're, we're finding now that sulfur is just not for canola. It's for all crops, your, your barley, your, your, yeah, and uh, your other cereals as well. Um, and by combining those two nutrients together, you get a much more efficient use of, of, of all the nutrients. And we're seeing some great results and great um, improvements in yield and quality when using Amidas. Um, it's very efficient to spread uh, the way the prill is uh, uh, designed, you're not getting any separation of the nutrients, it's all together in one and um, spreads very efficiently and in a good pattern. Um, it's much easier to handle as far as storage goes because again you're not blending products together which can cause uh, some uh, problems especially when there's more dust 
in the bin so that can cause some problems with handling so something that a lot of guys should look at whether you're spreading or not it's a great option we're finding as well being banded in the soil all in one pass um, could really see a guy just you know going out with some micro essentials s10 and some amitas down the mid row band and you'd have your complete nutrient package right there with just two products and would really simplify uh simplify your operation this spring so um talk to any of your ci reps your account reps about uh, amitas uh, we're really excited about this new product that we have access to thanks ryan so for any of you that are listening um thank you for your time and uh, any more questions be sure to call us thank you